I'm here in Chingford, the King's Ford. And I'm going in search of one of the great hidden gems of Waltham Forest, the London Borough of Waltham Forest. And I'm going to go looking for Pimp Hall Park. It's a really beautiful, special and slightly hidden location. is the real treasure in Pimple Park and Nature Reserve. I'm hoping I can find somebody who can tell me a little bit about the history of this beautiful dovecot here. By the magic of Pimple Park and Nature Reserve, two local history experts manifested themselves inside this ancient dovecot. Anna, what can you tell me about this dovecot here? It's been extensively restored by the council a couple of years ago after a period in which it began to decay. Its history goes back to the late 16th century, I believe. The exact date isn't sure, but it's roughly contemporary with Queen Elizabeth's hunting lodge, which is, of course, much better known. Um, it was built as a dovecot, and if you look around the building, you can see in the original timbers holes where they had posts for the birds to roost on. And this would have been a source of meat, young birds, for the lord of the manor and his family during leaner times of the year. So the last family to farm it were called Bolton. One of the boys in the family wrote some memoirs later. One of his stories is that he remembers, about the age of five, waking up and finding this woman entirely in grey standing by his bed looking down at him and he mentions this to his mum and she brushes it off and then the woman appears again some, some nights later his mum said oh yes yes there is a lady uh, who appears uh, as a ghost in this farmhouse this place is known as pimp hall after reginald pimp who was i think 16th century but i'm not sure it was a royal manor in the time of Henry VIII, and he would have come here, we believe, as well as visiting what's now known as the Queen Elizabeth's Hunting Lodge. There is still a pathway that leads as a series of alleyways across suburban streets from here to the site of the Hunting Lodge. The um, outline of the barn, which is to my right over there, rectangle, and of the farmhouse is over facing me there. The farmhouse demolished um, about 1929 by Chingford Council. It, it was said after the demolition that they found the skeleton of a monkey with a leather collar and chain attached to it. Now what would a monkey be doing in um, a farmhouse in Chingford? Well one, one possibility is that, that the monkey was some kind of pagan spell to ward off evil spirits. And what can you tell me about the rest of the park, the, the big park at the top of the hill? Well, it, it is part of the same complex, if you like, as Pimple Reserve and the allotments on either side. All of it is the relic of what was once a farm that was bought by the London County Council during the 1930s. And they set up the park, created two sets of allotment spaces, and what's now the reserve was a council site that was used as a nursery, for trees, shrubs, growing flowers for exhibitions and selling produce. And during the war, quite a bit of the area was used to grow food, of course. David, it's a really magnificent point between the, the forest and the lee. On a, on a ridge, true. I suppose it would yeah, be the, yeah. a, a river valley, the valley of the Ching behind us. The Ching? but also um, a wider valley of the roading behind the valley of the tree. Mm -hmm. So um, it would have really have stuck out, you know, before the development, this would have been a really prominent yeah. point in the landscape, wouldn't what it? We, what we've got to our left is Friday Hill House, where the right. lord of one of the two manors of Chingford moves his residence in, I think, the 16th century from down, down by the Lee. It's moved up here because this is the, the spot to be seen Oh, what a magnificent visit to Pimple Nature Reserve and the Dovecot and the beautiful park with the incredible views. 
a whole world of wonders up here in Chingford. It's, it's a real good place, I think, to, to help people go back into history. <laughs>